Hi everyone, my name is Peter Romando. I'm a children's book author and illustrator, and I'm here in this beautiful children's room in the St. Cloud Library in St. Cloud, Florida, and I'm here to read to you my new picture book called I Am Not a Fish. This is published by Dial Books for Young Readers, which is an imprint of Penguin Random House. And so here we go with I Am Not a Fish. I am not a fish. Written and illustrated by Peter Raimondo. So here we have a jellyfish here. And he's looking at this sign. And it says, Underwater Support Group. Rated five stars. And so we have this arrow pointing um, off the page here. And we have this, looks like imprints of, um, of stars on the, in the sand. Okay, here he comes. Um, hello there. My name is Edgar, and I'm a, a, a jellyfish. Hello, Edgar. And you see we have a whole group of starfish here. These are actually real kinds of starfish. This is my favorite kind. This is called a chocolate chip starfish. Edgar says, of course, jellyfish aren't actually fish at all. It's kind of confusing. Boy, do we understand that. Starfish aren't fish either. We have arms for crying out loud. And our skeletons are on the outside. Who came up with these silly names anyway, he asked. So Edgar says, well, I think it all started when those pesky humans dove in and started labeling everything. Look at all these labels we have here. We have these fish, it's cod. Even the bubbles have labels. That's kelp, an anemone. That's a fin there, it's a shark. And the diver's pointing at this giant squid here. Literally at the sign it says, giant squid. The thing is, most creatures ended up with fancy names all their own, like a narwhal, or nautilus, or dolphin. And other names made total sense, like hammerhead shark, yellow tangs, blue tangs, or swordfish. But with jellyfish, it's like they took two unrelated words and just stuck them together. I understand the whole jelly part. Sometimes I can barely tell the difference myself. We have strawberry jelly, grape jelly, and sea jelly. But jellyfish? This I never understood. I look more like a plastic bag than a fish. I mean, this is a fish. It has fins and gills and scales. He says, ouch, because he's got stung by the, the jellyfish. I don't have gills or fins or scales because I am not a fish. And people always say, Edgar, you're overthinking things. But jellyfish don't even have brains, so I'm not thinking anything at all. Believe me, I've tried to be like the other fish. I've joked around with the clownfish. <laughs> Look at Edgar telling a joke to these clownfish. He says, hey guys, why did the turtle cross the ocean? To get to the other tide. <laughs> but I don't have a funny bone in my body. In fact, jellyfish don't have any bones at all. I've hung out with the angelfish, but they don't even know what a sand angel is. There he is, making the sand angel. These are actually angelfish. Oh boy. And good luck playing tag when your hands are stinging tentacles. Hey there, Mr. Pufferfish. Tag, you're it. <laughs> <laughs> so he blows up. Oh, this one time, I even got packed in with the sardines. Whoosh, he swooped up into the net. Okay, look, he's getting pulled up. And Edgar actually feels good about this. He says, but right when I was finally fitting in, I was tossed aside. And there's the fisherman says, Hey, that's not a fish. 
Throw it back! So Edgar, <laughs> Edgar's trying to just like smile nicely. Oh, I finally got to the point where I had to stop and float for a while. Oh, he's kind of exhausted. He says, you guys go ahead. I'll, I'll catch up later. And that's when I started feeling like myself again. After all, floating is what I do best. There's Edgar floating with all the other jellyfish. These are moon jellyfish, by the way. You know, just talking to this group has helped me realize something. People can call me whatever they want. A squishy thing, a gelatinous blob, a sea jelly, a stingy fish, a peanut butter and jellyfish sandwich. No matter what I'm called, I am still me. And the starfish say, and that's the best thing you could ever be. Aw, oh, thanks you guys. I feel better already. I tell you, this group knows how to make someone feel like a star. We're just so glad you came, Edgar. Yeah, you've brightened our day too. But right as they're celebrating, in comes this guy. Um, excuse me, uh, I'm sorry to interrupt. Uh, my name is Charlie and I'm a, a, a seahorse. And they all turn and say, hello, Charlie. And the whole thing starts all over again. And that's the end. And on the back we have Edgar talking to a plastic bag. And he says, do they ever call you a fish? And that is I am not a fish. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed this reading. Remember, always be yourself. See you soon.